sing in me muse and do me tell the story of that teacher unskilled and always of contending. So I owe all of my teaching success to this book, Teach Like a Champion. Before this book, I was a teaching wimp. Uh, my scaffolding was sloppy, my pedagogy was pathetic, and my differentiation was, well, Alright class, I'm going to have you take out a sheet of paper, you're going to write a 10 paragraph essay on the question, what is stronger, love or hate, using the play Romeo and Juliet. Oh my god, school girl. Are you serious? You haven't written anything all year. You haven't even read the play yet. Seeing Goddess, the anger of David Sunzeller and its devastation, which put pains thousandfold upon the students. Before Teach Like a Champion, I experienced rage and anger from bell to bell, six periods a day. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ingrid Herman. I have 13 years of teaching experience. In this time, I've only had two ethics worth remembering. Before Teach Like a Champion and after Teach Like a Champion. And let me tell you, the difference in my classroom is night and day. I still can recall the first time I ever used any of these strategies. Good afternoon, class. It's good to see you. We're going to pick back up where we left off yesterday. Remember in the balcony scene, we get a first glimpse of Shakespeare's true conception of beauty, as distinguished from Romeo's fallacious notion of love, illustrated by his obsession with Rosaline. Alex, can you tell me what Romeo compares Juliet to when he first sees her? I know. A cat. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, what does he compare her to? Whatever, I don't even know why we're reading this book. Shakespeare is lame. Why can't we just watch the movie? Yeah. 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 Excuse me, is that appropriate? Whatever. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple minutes. I don't know where that page went. Um, I'm going to give you... you just kind of I'm going to give you some wait time. We'll move on to question number two as a class, but I'm coming back to you for an answer, Alex. I'm going to want you to think about that for a couple minutes, okay? So, everybody's had a little bit of time to think about their answer. We've already covered number two. You guys did an awesome job. And I want to go ahead and talk again about question number one. So, we, I gave you some wait time, so hopefully you've been able to, to formulate an answer, Mr. Alex. Can you tell me what Romeo compares Juliet to when he first sees her on that balcony? I will, Miss Herman. I will answer your question accordingly. Upon first seeing Juliet, Romeo compares her to the sun. Quote, he says, quote, um, But soft, what light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Unquote. Of course. That is right, Alex. Thank you for answering that appropriately. You're welcome. All right, class. We're starting with journal. So uh, this is your prompt. You're going to write for three minutes on that prompt. Oh. Hey, what's up, DJ? Um, hey, what's up? Guys? Hey, what's up? The hey, bell just rang. Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning. Uh, so the clock is going. Hey. The clock is ticking it's down. Good, That's two good. minutes. Good. Two minutes and fifty yeah. seconds. Awesome. It's That's two minutes and thirty seconds, folks. You're supposed to be writing exactly. right now. Oh yeah. Oh. What do you? Yeah. What do you have? Awesome. Oh, your hair looks nice. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, this is so good. Hey, just keep teaching. It's fine. Okay. You're doing a good job. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's time. Okay, Alex. Do you want? Do you want some? Alex, would you? Oh my God! I can't.
Alex, 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 excuse me, Ingrid. Uh, Alex, would you like to share your journal entry with us? I, I don't even have a journal. Okay. Like you Ingrid, know would you like to share your entry with us? Okay. Um, the question was again. Can you say the question again? It's on the board. Um, I'm here. Okay. I'm uh, reading. Yeah, but what do you have written? Okay, I wrote, I'm here and I'm breathing. Actually, I just texted that to my friend who wants that's, to see it. That's what you had, that's what you wrote in three minutes? I, well, it's three words, so I did like in three seconds. Hello? I can read. Can you read? I'm worried about you reading. Class journal. All right, uh, Ingrid, uh, your journal under your seat, please. Thank you. Class journal. Uh, so Ingrid would like you to the journal, the notebook, writing in the notebook. Class journal. Class journal. So Ingrid, the, the notebook. Oh, sorry. All right, time. Okay, so Alex, uh, will you please share with us your response to the prompt of how you would compare and contrast the role of Friar Lawrence and Nurse as mentors to Romeo and Juliet. So I wrote, Friar Lawrence displays many of the attributes of a tragic hero, including the hubris to think he could end a feud combined with the superior intelligence to see a way beyond the conflict. Very good, Alex. Bravo. Oh, uh, my apologies, Ingrid. Uh, would you like to share your response to the prompt? Yes, I would. The nurse's betrayal of Juliet, particularly in her hour of need, reflects the Renaissance obsession with appearance over substance. In other words, the nurse is more concerned with her reputation than with the dear affection of her charge. Um, I already asked you once not to write letters to your friends during class. Thank you. All right, we were talking about Romeo and Juliet. John, uh, are you using your phone again? I'm going to confiscate it. I'm texting my mom. It's, it's really important. Um, all right, but if I see you use it again, I'm going to take it. Will you please put it away? I want to see you put it away. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not using it. I'm, I'm just, yeah. John? I already asked you, we please put it away? I, I'm actually, I'm like looking, I'm using it as a mirror. I know, John. It, you're not going to get look, look. then you already I, I, I heard it. Chill. Excuse okay. me, John. John. John, I, please just put your phone away. I know. Okay, thank you. Put it away. I know. John, this is my last warning. Please put it away. All right. Thank you very much. All right, class, let's continue on with what we were trying to learn today. Um, let's see here. Are you saying it straight, John? John! What is your problem? You are my problem. I need you to sit up straight. Put your phone Whatever. Away. Put your phone away. Put your phone away. Put your phone away. Please put your phone away. Please sit up straight. John, can you please be an example of the class? Sit up straight. John, that's not sitting up straight. Look, I'm tired. John, we're all tired. These young ladies are able to sit up straight. They're tired, too. Actually, they just got done with a cross-country marathon yesterday, so they have more of a reason to stop than you. No more warnings. Last warning! Hi, class. Good to see you again today. You know what? I just want to really quickly, really quickly <clears throat> let's emphasize again our behavioral norms. Safe, honorable, sensible as cowboys. I, we have a nor warning policy. John, you need to put away your phone. What? John, I'm going to give me your phone. No warning. What? what, what Thank you. It's like, I you know. can't like take that. Uh, yes, I can. I, John, John, we've already talked about the Am I going to get it back? 
you're going to get that from the front office. Like, thank you very much for demonstrating the behavior that I want when I catch you with the phone. Okay, can I please have you sit up straight? Yes. Thank you very much. So again, today we're going to go ahead and continue learning about the roles of these players in Romeo and Juliet. Okay, everyone see us straight? Everyone ready to learn today? Yes, Miss Herman. Fantastic. Yeah. Safe, honorable, sensible. Let's do it, Cowboys. All right, let's do it. All right, thank you. Two households, both alike in dignity, in Favorona where we lay our scene, from ancient grudge break to new mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life. So this time, we're going to write a five-paragraph essay based on the theme what is stronger, love or hate, using Romeo and Juliet. And this time, you have sentence frames. I got it, mister. Yay, sentence frames! Now we're going to do this! 